Hey, bye. I'm a fan. In this video, I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna be my thoughts on Iron Man 2, pretty much. So, in this film, I actually really love this film. It was a lot of. It's, I feel like this film for me is like so rewatchable in so many ways. I, for so many reasons, we see the introduction of Black Widow and a few months ago, I, I just thought about back then how the story ran so that 25 when she did that, when she did that film. Like, that's incredible. Like, that's around my age right now. <laughs> but yeah, it's insane. So basically, one of the reasons why I really love Iron Man 2 is. You see, even though yeah, we yeah, were introduced to like a new world pretty much, it just turns out it didn't want to come back for like, the future for the MCU, so Don Cheeto took over but it was a he portrayed the this he portrays this character so much um, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm preparing but that's what pretty much I'm doing this where he he's buried James Rose then. Terrence just we see um, more things we see a lot of like Don's adding is really great in this film he you know, see a lot of great into when he interacts with Tony when the words interacts with Tony does a lot of you feel the, like, the bond the friendship within those two I really one of the reasons I really love this film is we see Iron Man Black Widow and Home Machine Day all three of them interact with each other. We see them together in the first time ever and it was a really great way to have I really like that Black Widow was introduced in this way. I it does a lot of, I really love how Phil Torsen was also involved and he mentions the mission um, shield. I really liked how I really liked the this film had in a way, two villains he had Justin Hammer and also had um, Ivan Fanto, right? Yeah. I even does a lot of great things about um, Justin for, for starters. Um, he said, it's kind of the Jeff Bush's character, would I is like, it's like this competition pretty much where he wanted to, and he wanted to, and be the top, he wanted to outdo each other in a way. and. Of everything that Iron Man has been through in the first film, the government wants to take Iron Man's suits and Tony Wood says no, and that's a really great thing to think about now when you see him in Civil War, where he's like, in a way, he says, fine, take my suits for on certain conditions in a way. So, after to that, when I talked about Civil War, I feel like the one he was like in Marco that I'm facing the facing Marco was pretty much showing off to Justin <laughs> pretty much so was really interesting to see him do. I really loved how the um, the beginning of the film we see that the blueprints of Ivan um what the, he, he tries to make the he tries to replicate uh art reactor right in a way. So, I want to with the help of Ivan's father and Howard Stott's adventures in a way we see we get to a little bit of um, because of Nick Fury being involved in this film as well we see that we get to know a little bit more about Howard Stott in a way from Nick's point of view and also Tony's point of view in, in some ways ways of how like Howard was back in day. You see that he in the part thing I will find it was in is uh, that that bit board thing <laughs> that bit layout thing that Tony had in the Tony found in his in that in this office or something. The fact that that in in a way he used Jarvis to turn that into just to find a new, he found a new element in that way. But how that film, I was really brilliant. I really love the way he really shows how intelligent Tony really is in this film. I really like how there was a lot of great things in this film about how he shows how 
is of Tony Thumb. Attached inside of a more clearer and in the first Iron Man, there's a lot of great things that there was a great, was a great step up from how um, the, st the storytelling of Tony is. I thought that it was really top notch. I really liked it. In this, in Iron Man 2, we see that um, Happy is also back. <laughs> we see him interact with Black Widow and, and with some people trying to to um, Ivan's um, like office lab, Dane Harbor. The, the part where Black Widow was fighting, we see in John February scene. You see um, Happy Hulk and trying to take out one of the guys, so and Black Widow's just drawing her head with the or add with the other guys, that was so funny. <laughs> yeah. I really like the... I did enjoy seeing Pepper here in this film, there was a lot. I felt like from the first time into this one, we see that they're starting to just to like, to like uh, sense of each other. They're trying to understand each other a bit, know each other a little bit more. There's a lot of great chemistry between those two. I feel like that's also because of Robert and Jordan's acting in that way, the way they act, the way they are, they act, they have a lot of great bonding together as well. So that's really, that's really enjoyable to do as well. So yeah, the action scenes were actually really cool. I actually really liked it. Um, they were fighting drones and stuff, people in like suits. I feel like that was a little bit more. I also think that was a Great, great decision for them to do. They just have the, um, Tony and Rhodes fight the, the drones and stuff and such. It's really interesting that also we um, see that Tony is also, in a way, just before he found out the new element, he's found out, found out that in a way he's like losing his life, he's dying pretty much, so he wants to tries to upgrade new elements and tries to find new ways to not, not elements first but he wants to find new ways to um, live pretty much and he doesn't tell Pepper or Rody or any, anyone who just kind of like saying that like, I feel like he should tell the, um, Rody or Pepper what's going on in that way I really like how even how Rody was concerned the way he that's actually a great friendship with us too. We love it. That's how you know it does it. It's really respect and care for each other. We see that Rolly really instantly tries to understand Tony in a way. The way Tony finds out that a little bit more about how his dad has done the type of the world of tomorrow. How it wanted to make after that does a Great moment, especially when the, a really great moment in that film was when he was speaking. When he, he was Tony was in the projector of his dad talking to how Tony is his restoration. I really love that scene. But he shows that in a way he's, he did all this for Tony, and that's literally what I would say. But yeah, but he did for I feel like Tony. Tony was I would say inspiration for doing more, and that's vice versa in a way so it's really great thing that they really get to see on the stand a little bit more. I really love um Natasha's interaction with Happy and the way they just two like bots in between <laughs> in a way. And, and not bots but she pretty much um took Happy down. <laughs> I so we see that Tony was um he was at Pauline to see who's being cared as because he spoke to he spoke to Natasha about how he wants to he was last birthday how we celebrate and Rhodes like I said Rhodes is noticing that he cares about Tony so the reason why I felt like Tony and Rody fought in that party scene is because I felt like Rody was like very concerned for him he just wanted him like check him up pretty much and tell us and what what you doing pretty much so yeah so what I think about I meant too what did you what was your greatest moments of watching that film? Do you feel like this film is rewatchable in a way but with the way that is these creators interact with each other? Let me know in the comments below. Click here if you wanna see the 
other MCU reviews have been done so far. Let's click to your subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.